Uh, when I was president-elect, we worked on a new strategic plan. And in that plan, we uh, first of all shortened the mission statement so that people could actually understand what the mission was and repeat it. Uh, so we did that. Uh, we also felt during um, my tenure that if the Alumni Association was going to grow and, and really prosper, the membership and the board had to look alike. And the, traditionally, the board and the president were basically from the Pittsburgh area. And so we really expanded the, the people on the board to all over the country, and in, even in some cases, international people, so that when someone looked at the composition of the board, they could feel that this was their organization as well, even if they were not living in Pittsburgh at the time. For the first time, we had the students as co-chairs of each of the alumni committees. So there was an alumni who was a chair, and then they had a student co-chair. And this really brought the students into the strategy, the thinking, the planning of the organization. And I think they got excited about it and really started to think about having a student alumni association so that students from their first day on campus could really think of themselves as lifelong members of the family. We really wanted to expand the membership of the board and the officers to represent a more national membership. And it was difficult at first to have people conceive of having the next president from a different part of the country. And how would that person attend meetings? And how would the board come together if they were from all over the country? And so we had to work on the logistics of that. But we did. And Keith Schaefer became the president-elect, the first president from outside of the city, really outside of the city. He was in California. And he did a great job. And, uh, and after that, it became a, just a natural progression. This is what we expected. I think we have a very unique partnership with the university and the, the chancellor and the provost. Uh, we are valued by them. Our opinions are valued. And when we sit with Mark, and I remember we used to have formal meetings twice a year, and, and Mark would give us hours of his time. And we'd sit and we'd talk about what the Alumni Association is doing, what our goals were, and what his goals were, because we wanted to make sure that the Alumni Association was supporting the university's goals. And so when we did that, we became even more valuable. And we were all on the same team with Mark, and he knew that. It's also interesting that the past two presidents of the Alumni Association go on the board of trustees. And that's a huge influence and a huge partnership because we sit at the table when major decisions are, are being made and voted on. We did a lot of universities on the road with, with the chancellor. Wherever we went, people were so enthusiastic to come and talk to us about their Pittsburgh stories, their Pitt stories. They wanted to know if the original was still standing, <laughs> if the Luna was still there, their favorite bar. But most of all, they had such warm feelings about their university. And it opened my eyes to what an influence this institution has around the world.